And let me just say, first of all, what uh, the hope that I felt uh, when uh, Kamala was uh, selected as our VP candidate was, was overwhelming. Couple of things. First of all, she was born in Oakland, California. Yeah. My district, I know her very well. I campaigned with her and supported her through all of her elections. And I think I was the first member of Congress actually to support her when she ran for the presidency. So I had a chance to go to South Carolina and North Carolina as surrogates and all over the country. And I saw the enthusiasm that people had for uh, Senator Harris because she's prepared, but because she can relate to people and because she's such a smart, uh, brilliant, but down to earth uh, woman. But also, let me just say, uh, Zerlina, I think what this means, it means another step toward the end of white politics. Yes. I got involved <laughs> in campaigns. I wasn't a registered voter, refused to. I was community worker with the Black Panther Party in the early 70s. And I had class I was going to flunk because we were supposed to work in a campaign. And it was McGovern, Muskie, and Humphrey, dating myself, right? Shirley Chisholm was running. And she came as a result of the Black Student Union invitation that I was chairing. And she said she was running for president. And so you know what? I didn't flunk the cast. I got involved in her campaign. I got an A, went on to Miami as a Shirley Chisholm delegate because I thought that then that was the beginning of the end of white politics. Then of course, with Reverend Jackson, 84, 88, registered millions and millions of people, black people, brown people all around the country, another step toward the end of black of white politics. And so fast forward to today, I just think with, with Kamala, this is another uh, reason to read your book and to understand yes, what so, you're saying you. because it's another chapter in the end uh, of white politics.